Hi, I'm Debbie. This is Debbie's Dare. It's Fiskars Friday on Thursday. And I'm back. I took a month's vacation and played with my Fiskars tools as well as celebrated Fiskars 360th birthday, which was absolutely fabulous with all my Fisketeer friends, um, both online and some brand new ones. So it was really exciting. I have a project. I'm really just going to walk through the basics and show you a few of the tools that I used while making this. And to be honest with you, it's not finished. So I've got a dare for you, and you can read more details. I'm using Oopsie Daisy um, paper that they were so kind to give me at the Craft and Hobby Association. And uh, I think it's fabulous. I love it. There's actually, I have two lines, and this is has more of its fall colors. All right, you can see, I'm going to pull you over just a little bit this way. You can see the colors. I'm just going to turn it. You can see all the colors in that. Oh, there's blues and reds. Let's see um, the colors on the paper. Now I've pop dotted, I've cut out some of their images for the trees. I love their trees. So this is nice and sitting on your your table side, whatever kind of, I haven't finished it, but you know, whatever design you decide to do. But I want to look at the inside. So all I have to do, due to this nice little, the rings up here, they're individual rings that I glued down. I'm just going to untie it. Left myself plenty of, of uh, ribbon, and I can just lay it out, uh, and inside, not only do I have the pictures of my granddaughter, I'm going to pick this up, not only do I have the pictures of my granddaughter's face, beautiful face, all the way around, dun, dun, dun. let's see if I can get the camera to focus, but you can see I have all four of them laid out, very pretty. They're all, when you get the ribbon loose enough, it's all perpendicular from each other. But look at these beautiful little flowers that I made in here. It's using some Fiskars tools and some glaze, uh, a glaze pen, glitter glaze pen from, um, oh, how do you pronounce it? Sukura, from Sukura, and I just added some tool in there. And I added a little, you can see it right there little pin. So that's one of the flowers. Again, that's the Mayflower, two different sizes. And the uh, uh, the little center was made with the thumb uh, pop dot um, punch from Fiskars. Look at this. I used my round around circle punches, three sizes, just curled up the edges. Did it on both sides so it doesn't make any difference when someone picks it up. And then this one I actually did Oh, there's where my birds are. I've been looking for my birds. Um, I actually did from the USX. So there's a little flower one that has two, uh, two different types of flowers. I'm going to hold this very still. And you can see the two different types of flowers. And I actually put an orange and a white tool under there. Glittered it up. Bent it around. You can see it has dimension. I put the, their birds. I just glist, I just glittered it a bit. Okay, I'll hold it still, hold it still, let it focus. Isn't that pretty? And I've got it all down here in a little, made the little ends here, just with a strip of their, much an inch and a half of their paper, of Oopsie Daisy's paper. And I just set those in there to make a nice little centerpiece to enjoy while I enjoy my granddaughter's beautiful face. It just makes for a great conversation piece. I just bring it all back up, ta -dum, ta dum very easily, something unique, and I just pull my ribbon back taut, and just it takes a little bit, but not much, ta -dum. See, I am back. See, I'm going to pull this back. It, it took me that long to get it back where I need to, and all I have to do is tie it back. I just thought it was cute. I like using their pay and just glued it down and then I glued um, another layer and I used the scallop, Fiskar scallop punch here to help decorate the bottom of it. I thought it was cute. CD, I think it's a CD that I've already, like I said, I've already used it. And I'm going to put some paper on it. Let me grab a sheet of paper. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. What do I have here? Okay. I have a piece of very pretty paper. 
I had to make sure I can use it later, so that's the reason I did it. I want the shiny part to be on the outside, so I'm just going to put my adhesive. And if you really want some staying power, the um, glitter glaze, that's what I used to put the little loops in on my uh, little caddy there, or hideaway caddy, I don't know what you want to call it. And um, the edges are the most important thing to this, and just adhere it down on the back of the paper. Um, but uh, the diamond, the diamond, oh, excuse me, diamond clays, um, the glitter, art glitter glue, glitter glue, um, is fantastic. It's whole, I can hold up. All those little pieces of paper will not come undone. And I was amazed because I, I just knew it wasn't going to work. And uh, Miss Vecchi from Studio 490 had suggested that in one of our classes. And so I certainly took her up on it, and it does work. I have our fingertip craft knife. Just the sloop goes up. I think I've showed this before. Put your finger in like you're writing with a pencil. Da -da 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 -da. Gives you control here. That's the key. You get control. You put your fingers on it just like you would a pencil and like you were going to write out something. And the kind of control that you get with um, your pencil, which is very fine and detailed, you can also get with your fingertip craft knife. So I've laid down my paper, and I'm just going to take and start at the furthest part. The way I do this is I lean in this part. Let me come back around here. Some. There we go. I lean into this part a little bit to make sure that I'm getting very close. And I do press down. It's not a light cut because I want to cut through the first time. Oh, pick it up. It will cut your CD. <laughs> um, Sudi's daughter told me that who was that laughing at her house yesterday and no one would claim it she says well it's a funny laugh so I laughed for her to see if it was me and she told me I had a funny laugh and I know she meant it in a fun way but that's me I have a funny laugh all right so oops I'm just not getting all the way around I'm not watching myself I'm talking with you because I haven't talked to you in a month here we go so I just use my, and we have a nice circle. If you want to, you can distress the edges. If I need to connect CDs together, I will lay my CDs down in the pattern that I'm going to have it. Here, one over here, here, and here. And then I will mark it, so make sure it goes back to the same place. I want all my sides to match. And then I've got to drill a fine hole on either side close to the edge so I don't have any room for cracking and snapping I've got to get close and I'm going to use the very smallest bit on the Fiskars craft knife and this nice awesome little tool you can get at uh, Lowe's it's like a five dollar tool it has a little lever here I just love playing with the lever itself but it's just a um, vice grip a little plastic vice grip and like it it holds and that's, now we're going to have something flat I just got to the edge of my thing and just clamp it so it doesn't move that much or at least it holds it down now because I don't have a book underneath it I'm going to be very careful you can mark your spot on here like I showed you a while ago and since this is the first one I can basically do what I want to and just sort of get you know measure it out a little bit okay there's the thickness of the of the drill bit so you don't want to go too close to the edge in that respect and it has, it's like a gun. You hold it like this. It works better if you're standing. You do not have to put pressure here, very slightly, you know, to hold it in place. And then you just turn. And it will cut it. You don't have to force it. It just drills right through it. And husbands, only for crafts. No, actually, I've used it on wood projects. I've also uh, drilled a hole in my wall in order to hang something. Please your clamp. And you have a nice hole. I'll hold it very still. You see it better on this side. The craft knife. And just zip, zip. Did you see that go through like butter? Um, I used my Fiskars adhesive, and it does hold really, really well. Your nifty um, craft drill from Fiskars. See? It says Fiskars right on the drill. Guys, 